Nigerians matter on tough for. Niger army blocks Nigerian soldiers' access to Bosu. War looming as the neighboring towns of Malam, Fatari in Nigeria, and Bosu in Niger, which were once connected by a friendly daily interaction between soldiers of the Nigerian army and the soldiers of Niger Republic in Bosu and now experiencing heightened tension and hostility due to recent events. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. War looming as Niger Army blocks Nigerian soldiers' access to Bosu. Walumin as the neighboring towns in Malam, Fatori in Nigeria, and Bosu in Niger, which were once connected by a friendly daily interaction between soldiers of the Nigerian army and the soldiers of Niger Republic in Bosu, are now experiencing heightened tension and hostility due to recent events. News Direct reports that in the aftermath of ECOWAS sanctions and the declaration of potential military action, both countries find themselves in a delicate situation. As a result, Nigerian soldiers are facing an unfortunate setback as they have been denied access to Boso, Boso Tan to source items for their daily lives and basic provisions. This new development occurred a day after a delegation from the West African National Bloc ECOWAS had left Niger without meeting the leader of the junta, which seeks power in a coup. According to a delegation member on Friday, the team led by the former Nigerian military ruler Adu Salami Abubakar could not spend the night in Niger as scheduled. The ECOWAS delegations arrived in the capital, Nyami, on Thursday, but did not spend the night as scheduled, nor meet with coup leader Adurahmani or deposed President Mohamed Bazoum, Bazoum, the team member said. The delegation was initially due to meet Aduram, Aduramani to present ECOWAS demand, but met a brick war before returning to Abuja. The regional powerhouse Nigeria holds the rotating presidency of ECOWAS, which imposed sanctions and gave the military junta a week to restore President Mohamed Bazoum to power. Nigerian President Bola Tinubu, however, said, the bloc would do its best to resolve the crisis amicably, but ECHO has said it could resort to military intervention as last resort. Hmm. Tenable, please send the Kubo and his men. Leave our army alone, I swear. I think you are making perfect point here. He's been boiling for fights. That is going to be perfect privilege to display his fighting powers. Okay, guys, these are you know some some reactions from Nigerians. Meanwhile, in another developing news, Malian troops heading to Niger are pushed by terrorists, and every casualty is reported. It does that on so like this. What it is that <laughs> we are just getting. You know, close to it, we just pray that ECOWAS should, you know, uh, resolve this amicably, not this involving soldiers into this matter. Because with the way the whole thing is going, this might not end well. A Malian, a Malian military source said, Islamic State jihadists and Bush army units near the the northeastern town of Menako on Thursday 
We are currently working out the toll. Our troops defended defended themselves in a a, a, a fire battle, and the, the source said, "Thank you for all you have been doing and listening to all this, because we will make sure that no harm we get to Niger." A police officer officer uh, confirmed the report, adding that. The soldiers were escorting trucks to Niger, and the troll is heavy. A local official told AFP no details about the trucks were immediately available. The neighboring Niger is also battling a jihadist insurgency and is in a standoff with the regional neighbors following a coup last week. Now, the question is, we echo us intervene? Jota Road, Mali, and Burkina Faso, they have backed Niger's military, new military leaders, saying an intervention by regional bloc echo to restore a disposed president, Mohamed Bazoum, would be tantamount to a declaration of war on them. The jihadist violence in Mali split over into Niger and Burkina Faso in 2015, fueling anger of the civilian government that ended in military takeover in all three nations since 2020. Like as I said, this is really, you know, getting tougher. This is getting tougher. This is getting tougher. Nigerian government have to do something, you know, eh -eh. May they not Congo carry while I can't join the one when we get already. I'm dropping into it, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.